Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, we did it. It can be done. Uh, it can be done. The intelligence community, the military industrial complex can be defeated. Uh, if we all get together and take action, uh, you know, and the perfect example is Julian Assange's freedom. Uh, I was with Julian last week, uh, you know, we were, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty, yeah, I mean, just to be back with him, uh, it's very moving, obviously, uh, you know, just, it's sort of really hard to explain, you know, it's just standing on a beach with Julian looking out to sea and, um, after after 14 years of uh, imprisonment, it's such a such an incredible moment uh, that, that you know we all contributed to, um, especially people on this stage as well. So yeah, thank you very much. Thank you everyone. Uh, there's lots of friendly faces and familiar faces here as well. So yeah, thanks a lot. I'll just, maybe I'll just tell you one more anecdote about um, Julian's escape from the United Kingdom. Uh, he was, the United Kingdom didn't want anybody to find out that Julian uh, was leaving, that he, that he was getting out. And so they snuck him out of uh, Belmarsh Prison, the maximum security prison, where he spent the last five years in jail at two o'clock in the morning. He was put inside a prison van, and the prison van driver wasn't even told who he was driving. And uh, he was whisked across London uh, with a police escort. They changed the traffic lights all the way through so that he could drive straight across London at that early time in the morning. He then had to wait outside the Stansted Airport inside the prison van uh, for four hours uh, before the airport uh, opened. Uh, and once the airport opened, he went to the private terminal where they have the, the private jets take off from. He had to fly from Stansted to Bangkok, then to Saipan and, and the US Territory, and then to Australia. And so he was in this waiting room, and there's a few waiting rooms lined up next to each other. And he was sitting in his waiting room with the U, U uh, the ambassador, the Australian ambassador of the United Kingdom and his lawyers. And the waiting room next door started filling up with people. Uh, more and more people kept coming, and he was wondering what's going on. What, you know, why, who's, who's in that waiting room, uh, and why are all these people there? And then he noticed on the fence outside there was all these press photographers lining up. Uh, and he thought, shit, they've found out uh, that someone's leaked, they've found out that I'm here. But it turns out, in the end, uh, that the person next door leaving was Taylor Swift. <laughs> so, so even Taylor Swift played a role in Julian's freedom. So I just want to thank Taylor Swift for covering for Julian. Yeah, he's good. He's he's really good, Tug. I mean, he's you know been with his children and his family. Um, yeah. yeah he's, got a, he's got I think some recovery and everything to do, but I think he's still got a fire. You know, he's only 53, so I think he's still got a lot of work to do. So. What is the possibility for a pardon? Well, I, I was I've just been uh, up uh, up on the hill. The question. Uh, so the possibility of a pardon for Julian. So I was just up on the hill today, and there's a lot. Uh, there's a very strong response from people that you know uh, that the pardon, pardon will be supported. Uh, you know, all the, the groups like ACLU, Freedom of the Press Foundation, have all said to me that they'll support uh, a pardon campaign. So I think there will be a possibility of a pardon. You know, depending on what happens in the election, obviously, but uh, you know, we're going to push for that, uh, and, and we'll have the support of all our allies uh, in Congress. So.